Well, we're here this afternoon, a beautiful summer day in Vichy, France, in the museum of Francois Bouchex. Francois is a surrealist painter and has been painting for more than 50 years. I'm with Stéphane Guilbeau, who is the director and owner, actually proprietor of Art Litho. We just had a great experience with Francois, with our clients, on a trip that went to seven countries. What was it like uh, having the experience of working with Park West clients for the first time? How did he feel? Ils sont charmants d'abord, très gentils. First, we really enjoyed the relationship, the very friendly relationship he had with all the crew. And uh, after 52 years of career, he discovered a new way to work with you. And uh, he really enjoys, he really appreciates. Well, tell him it's mutual. Uh, one of the first things that impressed me in coming into the museum was to see works from 1957 and 1962, 1963, works that he did 50 years ago. What gave him that courage to be able to keep so many great paintings for the permanent collection? The idea came from Salvador Dali, who said, told him one day when he was very young, if you want to promote your own art, keep some paintings every year from your work. Wow. The first exhibition was in 67 at the Gallery de Sèvres. A moitié avec Salvador Dali. He shared the gallery with Salvador oh, Dali. He invited. We invited him. Personally? Yes. Well, in addition to his painting, he also does etchings. He does prints, as stomps, as he would call them. He's done amazing sculptures. There's pianos and cupids and bicycles and horses and fish. Uh, I might add, they're so intricately fabricated, they're truly amazing. The surrealist dans le rêve, the surrealist yes. dans le rêve. Yes, the main inspiration is the dream. He's painting things that does not, not exist. exist. The birds are as big as the house are. <laughs> Boy, that's very heavy. Oh. Now, talk about not existing. Look at this horse. What happened? How many horses have you ever seen that that play a contrabass le violoncelle, le violoncelle, and, and, enfin, with a fig leaf. One of the amazing things about Francois, about Mr. Bouchex, is the consistency. And that's, that's a mark of a truly a master. We hope that one day Park West will have the second biggest collection of Bouchex paintings in the world. He'll always have the biggest, but we hope to have the second biggest. <laughs>